Faith pleases God. Welcome to today's episode. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. It pleases God when his children live by faith. Faith requires walking by and standing on God's word. Faith requires us to believe that what God says will indeed happen and that his word is true. It is by faith that we believe what we have not yet seen. We believe what has not happened will come to pass in accordance with the word of God. Faith can move mountains. With faith we speak to the mountains of life. We are saved by grace through faith. Faith is such an important part of the Christian life. It helps us live victorious lives through Jesus Christ. We know where our power comes from and who is our source, and we claim those things promised by God into our lives through faith. Life is full of uncertainties. It is full of storms. When we do not know who to rely on, we will easily be moved by the storms of life. We have to know God personally and not fight our battles as the world does. We know whose we are and we fight our battles in a different manner. The word of God is our sword and faith is the shield we use to extinguish the flaming arrows from the enemy. Without faith, our armor for fighting spiritual battles will be incomplete. Without faith, we will lack the shield needed to protect ourselves from the evil one. Faith helps us to speak to our situations to align with the word of God. We are to use the sword of the Spirit through faith. The Bible says that, The one who overcomes the world is the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Matters of God require faith. We have not yet seen God, yet we believe that He does indeed exist, and He is with us every step of the way. Salvation is by grace through faith. We have to believe Jesus died for us and took our sins away through his death and resurrection. We have to believe Jesus is our Lord and Savior. Our power and authority is in Jesus. When we, be when we believe, we are no longer controlled by sin. We are no longer of the world. We are heirs with Christ through faith. We claim the promises of God through faith. Galatians 3 verse 22 says, But scripture has locked up everything under the control of sin, so that what was promised, being given through faith in Jesus Christ, might be given to those who believe. Jesus came to save us from the penalty of sin and death. He, being God, humbled himself and became man, so that through him we might be saved. Jesus is a manifestation to us how much God loves us. Hebrews 1 verse 3 says, the sun is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being, sustaining all things by his powerful words. After he had provided purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty in heaven. Jesus now sits at the right hand of God interceding for us and he will come back again to take us home on the day of resurrection. 
When we receive him and believe in his name, he gives us the right to become children of God. God is our Father and he tells us to ask and it will be given unto us. We have to believe when we ask and not doubt. We go to God in prayer and make our requests known to him. James 1 verse 6 says, But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt, because the one who doubts is like a wave in the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. Let us choose the way of faithfulness and set our hearts on God's law. If we declare with our mouths that Jesus is Lord and believe in our hearts that God raised him from the dead, we will be saved. Romans 1 verse 17 says, For in the gospel the righteousness of God is revealed, a righteousness that is by faith from the first to the last, just as it is written, the righteous will live by faith. Be blessed.